So we have a panel of amazing students with us. Uh, and so you're going to get to hear from them and what their experience has been during this past uh, year or so and where their future is headed. And so I want to start and we've got Marissa Green uh, with us and Marissa is a communications major uh, and is the president of the student led accent. Uh, and so thank you for joining us, Marissa. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and we've got Stacy Brundage who is a veteran and who is in the fashion design program and made her transition from Dallas to Austin to take advantage of the great educational opportunities, especially at Austin Community College. So welcome, Stacy. Yes, thank you for having me. Go River Betts. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Rowan Wesselick. And Rowan is uh, currently a student intern at ACC TV, correct? That's correct. And you're an arts, digital media and communications major uh, and, and doing some work with us uh, on the ACC TV. And you've led some, some productions already. So you're getting that experience. So, you know, I wanted to start and have a, have you talked just a little bit about your experience, especially during this transition uh, over the last six months uh, of going from a non-COVID environment to all of a sudden halfway through the spring semester, uh, the challenges of moving into uh, going completely virtual? Uh, and then what's that been like for you? And uh, you know what, what really sticks out in your mind is, uh, has been great. Uh, so let's start with Stacy. Can you just tell us a little bit about that transition? Absolutely. Um, when we got the news that we were moving completely virtual, it was a bit of a, um, a challenge because fashion is such a hands-on program. But the amazing thing about ACC and ACC professors and, in, and the students as well is we're adaptable. And they made sure we had all the materials we needed, be it dress forms, fabric, um, and add-ons to make sure that we were still able to complete the semester and well into the summer as well. Um, I've never had an institution be so concerned and play out their role as the institution to make sure that I'm successful as a student. It was a really tough challenge but it was a really seamless one as well because of the, the effort that ACC put into making sure that I was a successful student. Awesome. You, you are awesome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and so Marissa, tell us a little bit about your transition. Yes. Um, so I've been with ACC for about two academic years. So going from a like very in-person class, um, going like from campus to campus to it being a like completely virtual platform, that was um, just like, I guess, a big change. However, um, similar to what Stacy said, you know, everyone from every department seemed so like dedicated and so determined to make sure that this works, you know, and this works for every kind of student that there is at ACC because whenever, like for instance, when I or Rowan or Stacy or any student that enters ACC enrolls, you know, they're also bringing their life with them and whatever, you know, challenges or um, whatever that may be. Um, so with my professors, they've been extremely like communicative and helpful, making sure that we understand the material um, or if we don't understand the material, they're able to help us. Um, I've had a few professors be very flexible, like with their office hours, um, because not only, you know, am I a student, but I also work and I also um, have a, a participation in student life as well. So they've just been really adaptable and really helpful. And um, that also goes for any other resources, you know, that we have at ACC. They've also just been really um, awesome with that. Great, Marissa. Hey, and Rowan, what about your experience? Yeah, I've been going to ACC for a couple of years now and um, just been networking with a lot of filmmakers, trying to, you know, collaborate and work on projects. And um, I was looking to put on like a pretty big project for uh, this year. 
And uh, unfortunately, we had to put that on hold due to COVID. Um, and it was just kind of uh, a crazy transition because I was uh, working two jobs, trying to um, get ready for school um, for next year and saving money and all that. And uh, I just had really good counselors to keep me accountable, make sure that my focus was still on my uh, schooling and, um, you know, the, the commercials and the things we worked on over the summer, stay on track and all that. Not only was I like, you know, trying to encourage other students to stay on track, but it really helped me to stay on track. Um, and it just gave me that uh, motivation, encouragement, to, you know, like, you know, keep pushing forward. Um, and so we worked on um, over like four or five projects over the summer, just trying to tell our story. And, um, and in that, like I found motivation again to, you know, kind of just push through. Perfect. And, and I, I think you had mentioned something about a mentor or mentors. I've talked to a couple counselors and also like uh, I've met um, staff who kind of mentor us or point us to like academic coach or, uh, academic uh, coaches that, um, you know, help you kind of plan out your schedule and try and um, fit in like study hours for classes um, and just really help you kind of organize and get your life together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's like it's like a family. So yeah. Stacy, you're going to graduate next May, is that right? Yes, if I stay on this track and continue to um, stick stick to the course, that's the plan. Yes, sir. <laughs> And, and Marissa, you're going to graduate next, uh, also next May? Um, this fall. This fall. Oh. You're almost there. You're almost there. So <laughs> and one of the things you talked about a little bit, uh, too, is, you know, how do you stay engaged with organizations um, through the COVID, through, you know, working from home? Yes. So... Um, you know, student life has been a very big presence, you know, within any um, campus that you go to. And they have so many different kinds of events, um, whether that's like, um, like the tea talk that they have, or um, they have special events um, dedicated to, I guess, what's going on with the campus, or if there's a holiday coming up. So moving all of that and with Accent to a completely virtual platform um, was definitely a challenge and trying to make sure that students were still engaged, you know, are, um, that was also a challenge as well. But, you know, I've seen, and just with my experience, it's been just kind of amazing how in such, you know, in this time we're able to transition almost everything to a completely virtual platform and still encourage students, you know, all of the student life staff and coordinators are so um, excited and excited to see you. And they're so um, wanting to make sure that they can help you in any way possible. And that's similar to kind of what I mentioned earlier is that one of the greatest things about student life that I found is that how connected they are with um, all the other departments or all the other resources that we have at ACC. And because of that, whenever students come um, to one of the events and they ask for help or they need assistance with something, maybe student life isn't the perfect place or the right place that they need that help, but at least they can point them in the right direction. And that's, you know, at least getting started. That's the biggest part. Amazing. Amazing. And all three of you, um, for those faculty and staff who are watching this video right now, these are three movie stars because, uh, you know, the, these three were in the TV commercial uh, that you've seen. And, and so, you know, in closing up and wrapping up, I just want to say first thing, these are amazing students. These three mm -hmm. students are our ACC. And, you know, faculty and staff, you're making a difference. And I hope you heard that from their testimonies uh, today, that you are making a difference in their lives. And, you know, I wanna kind of wrap up and, and Stacy, I'm gonna go back to you. And in that commercial, you had, you know, the last line there, uh, kind of, and can you just give it to us one more time? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be tough, but you can find the strength to dig deep and push through. I love that. 
I love <laughs> all of you did an amazing job. And thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Thank you for having us. It's been a thank pleasure. You. Yeah. Hi, my name is Marissa Green, and I am studying at Austin Community College. When everything switched online... In the beginning, it was very challenging. I had really amazing professors. Being able to talk to an academic advisor reassured me that this is what I want to do. I still want to transfer. I still want to make films. Nothing could get in my way. So don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. We're all in this together. The location doesn't matter, online or in class. You'll find the strength to push through.